Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for October. Now, keep in mind that this reading may or may not be for you. So, you know, this reading may or may not be for you. So, take what resonates and leave the rest. We had one card fall out. What do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October? Uh, we got two. We're going to go ahead and take those. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. You have to go through a new door. While you have to open that door, there's an opportunity that is waiting for you. Spear. Heartache, heartache over what you no longer have. So you may be going through some heartache during this time. You may be feeling some pain. You know, pain in your heart. So heartache. But there's an opportunity that's waiting for you. So you have to go through a new doorway. So anyhow. What do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? <gasps> Unrequited love situation. So we got a one-sided love situation that somebody is in. Okay. Let's see if we can get that to focus. I don't know why I mess with the camera, but I do. Anyhow, unrequited love. Spring, spring, things will blossom. One more card for Aquarius. Ooh. Change in living situation. So there is going to be a change in your living situation. There is an unrequited love situation here. You have been ignoring your gut. So you need to start listening to your gut. What do we have for Aquarius? One card, please. Overall energy. Justice. Justice, making a decision, making a fair and just decision, everything turning out as it should. There could be news of legalities this month. This is, the, this is a final decision, doing the right thing, truth being revealed, truth coming out, and making a decision based on the truth, okay? Some of you are dealing with a Libra. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. We have the devil here. There's some sort of toxic, unhealthy behavior or somebody is in a toxic, unhealthy situation. It could be an addiction. It could be an obsession. It could be a person. Somebody it needs to sever ties. They need to find a way to break free. They need to be honest with themselves. It's time to be honest with yourselves. I feel like there's going to be some evidence that is revealed where you know, it has to do with the unrequited love situation. Maybe it's maybe you've already broken free. Whatever's happening, everything is turning out as it should. A final decision is being made. There is going to be a change in a living situation. So far we have Libra and Capricorn here. Realignment. Karma. Oh my God. Unrequited love again. This, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So there is, there is, there is. There's an unrequited love situation here. But you know, when there's justice involved, there's always two sides, okay? There's two options per se. And what I sense is that you have another option. I sense that you have another option because there's an opportunity that is waiting for you with that door. On the bottom, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like you have an opportunity to deepen a bond with somebody else, but you need to sever ties. You need to make a final decision in the unrequited love situation that you've still been going back and forth with. Okay, so what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? 
And there's going to be a change in your living situation. I think it hurts. I think it's painful. I think it's a painful change. Somebody has made a decision. They're not in love. This is this is not. I mean, it's definitely one-sided. We got unrequited love twice. Okay? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There's just not. And I feel like there's definitely some sort of deception here. Um... Six of Swords reverse. That's reluctant to take a new approach. This is refusing to move on. So I think we have somebody here that has been stuck. It's very troubled. These are this is very troubling. It's very troubling. Oh, justice reverse. Your person, whoever you're dealing with, I wonder if they've taken another opportunity. Uh, we got the Four of Cups reverse, the Justice reverse, and the Ace of Cups reverse. This person's emotions are all over the place. That's in their position. Okay? I feel like your person is emotionally shut down. They may be emotionally unavailable. I feel like they are indecisive about what they want. They may be coming back and forth with you. It's like one minute they want you, the next minute they don't. This person it feels like they've taken another opportunity. They've been uh, focusing on some sort of emotional loss. I mean, you may even be involved in a third-party situation. Your person may be communicating with somebody that they, you know, loved in the past, you know, and they just can't let go. They can't sever the ties with this person. Um, anyway, let's get about talk about you. Two of Wands reversed, Eight of Wands reversed, and Nine of Cups. Um, I feel like you need not communicate with this person at all. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. This is what you. This is a need to balance, a need to be flexible, a need to adapt to a change. You are going to be adapting to change. Okay, I feel like you also have another opportunity, a new prospect, a new avenue, a new doorway that's opening up. You need to be open-minded. You need to get creative. You need to, and if it requires starting over from scratch, so be it. There is some sort of hard work ahead. I feel like you are going to be expanding yourself. You may be starting something, a new project, a new phase. There could be a new prospect here. But I feel like you, you're kind of blocking, you're kind of blocking something. And I think it's because you're in a, you've been in a troubling situation with an individual that has held you back. This person has treated you unfairly. They may, they lied to you. They lied a lot. They lied, they lied about their feelings or the, you know, it feels like this person is emotionally unavailable. It's like they, they may not have expressed feelings or they may have said they love you, but their actions didn't work. Mean their actions didn't, uh, match up with their words. Whoever you're dealing with, um, is definitely a liar with justice reversed it's in their, it's in their, uh, position. They are troubled. This person, I'm not sure if this person even has some issues with their with their mind, you know, mastering what they want. They don't know what they want. They they have a lot of, uh, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is a pathological liar. It feels like you are. Um, I feel like you are needing to block them. You need to stop communicating with this person. You need to make a choice with the two of wands reverse. You need to make a choice to not stop looking back. You keep looking back. You keep looking back. You need to stop. You need to stop. You need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on your abundance. I feel like you're in a very good place. I feel like you have an opportunity to have it all, to have the, your wish fulfillment. But the only way that you're going to have your wish fulfillment is to block. And I see the block with the Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands reversed. It's like you're at this crossroads. And it's like you can go in a new direction. You definitely have two choices here. Or you can keep going backwards. I feel like you keep on going backwards. I feel like there's a lot of fear and and resentment as well. There's 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 resentment towards the past, you know. So I think there's that you have an opportunity for happiness here, but you're so fearful of the unknown. I feel like there's somebody here that, you know, could be a potential love interest, but because of whoever treated you unfairly, you're having a hard time time going in that direction. I do feel like somebody is um, 
needing to move on they're needing to take a new approach to find their happiness and if that means that you know sometimes you could you i feel like you have somebody here that can offer you some sort of emotional support you know there's somebody here that can help you to heal or bring you happiness but i feel like you're blocking anybody from coming near you i don't i don't know who that's for it's like you're blocking it because of fear the fear of the unknown the two of wands reverse that's in your position i feel like you're going through a realignment right now you really 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 are i think your life is changing and i think you have two choices you can you can choose to stay in a troubled situation with a person that lies all the time that really isn't interested or you can go after this new interest that uh, wants you to give them a chance i feel like there is a new love interest here for some of you but i feel like you're very very troubled you're in a troubled situation i mean the signifier card is the six of swords reverse that is trouble it's troubled you know refusing to take a new approach it's time to go in a new direction but this is stuck and the two of wands reversed is stuck as well i think that you're stuck but just it's a mindset some of you are stuck in a mindset some of you may be praying and hoping for this person to change their ways the one that lies all the time this person isn't going to change their ways this person isn't really interested. I feel like they have another love interest and maybe that's what you need to be honest with yourself about. Some of you may not be being honest with yourself about whoever it is that you're dealing with because there's heartache over what you no longer have. I do think that you have a new love interest here. I do. That somebody, you have a new love interest, but you have to open your heart. You have to open your heart. You have to have faith. You have to have trust. You have to make a fair and just decision. You have to be honest with yourself you really have to be honest with yourself anyhow I feel like um, whoever you are dealing with is probably getting some karma right now there this this could be a karmic contract with justice reverse that's in their position you're dealing with somebody that is getting some karma it feels like I don't know if they've been rejected by a love and they come back around towards you I do think that could certainly be the case. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a decision with that justice card. This is a this is a this is a very a factual decision based on the truth, based on the facts. I also feel, there's definitely karma here because we have justice twice. We have it once upright and once reversed. Somebody is getting some sort that maybe you were in a karmic contract and you were refusing to see it, refusing to see that this was a lesson that you needed to learn. Queen of Wands reverse, Ten of Swords. Queen of Wands reverse. I feel like there's another woman here. There's another woman. Uh, somebody is dealing with another woman. This woman is uh, a massive liar, pathological liar. Very, very manipulative. Throws fits. You could be definitely be dealing with a woman that has no morals. It's next to the Justice reversed. This woman doesn't have any morals. She's uh, very manipulative, uh, extremely manipulative, dark, dark. We have a dark woman here. She's dark energy. She uh, tries to do things manipulative. She tries to keep people down. This could even be somebody who thinks they're a witch. You know, there's somebody here that thinks that they have that skill. They think nobody has that skill but God. Okay, but this is somebody that thinks that they have that power. This person is getting some karma. Somebody is getting some karma. It's right next to justice reversed. I don't know if somebody could even end up in, in jail or get, there could be some sort of news of legalities here. The end of suffering, this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. There could be some sad news here. I'm just being honest with the Ace of Cups reverse. There could be some sadness here. We have an individual that is uh, forceful extremely competitive lying doing whatever they want need to do to get their own way they don't care who they hurt as long as they get their own way throwing a fit throwing a fit 
not wanting to uh, accept the truth. There's a woman here that doesn't want to accept the truth. She does not. So she's going to act hysterical. This is hysterical. You, you know, throw a mass if it could end up in jail, could end up in prison. You know, there's somebody here that's trying to manipulate. They are definitely trying to manipulate pathological liar. Whoever you're dealing with is dealing with a woman who... Uh, Could even be you. You may be dealing with a woman who has no morals. This woman is forceful, has no respect for others, is all over the place, may even have some sort of addictions. It's almost like uh, unstable. This woman, whoever this woman is, this woman is in a lot of pain. She's miserable and misery loves company. So I feel like you are dealing with a woman, whether it's in, for some of you, it could be the Aquarius. If you are the cross, cross watcher watching this, there is somebody here. This woman is all over the place. Okay. Queen of Wands reversed. She doesn't want to be held accountable next to the justice reversed for her actions. So she's she's angry. She's upset. She's So she's trying to, to, I don't know, she's trying to hurt somebody with words or whatever. She's upset over rejection. So there is a woman here that is going to be throwing a massive fit. News of legalities, okay? there could She may be getting herself into trouble. The Six of Swords reversed is trouble. It is trouble. It is death. Definitely trouble. So we have a woman here that may be getting herself into some trouble because she can't control. She's trying to control. She's trying to control, but she can't control because karma and justice and the law, you know, the universal law sees everything. They see people's tactics. They see their scare tactics. They see their control tactics. They see their ways. And there is bad karma here. This is somebody that's going to hit the ground. They may be suffering. They may be getting some sort of pain. You know, they may, they may, uh, I don't know, the Ten of Swords is the end of things. It's the death of a situation. Um, there's, this is an injustice. It's unfair. It's unfair. We have somebody here that's trying to manipulate the, the contract or they're trying to manipulate the law. You know, they're breaking the law. We have somebody here that's breaking, they're trying to break the law. They can't master their emotions at all. <coughs> And it's because they weren't accepted. They weren't, it's because they lost, you know. And this is, I feel like you're dealing, I feel like this woman is like, you know, she's all over the place. She's, she's not healthy at all. Death of a situation, emotional loss. We do, we do have an emotional loss here. Ace of Cups, Reverse, Ten of Swords. I think that you need to not feel guilty. I feel like you're in a place where, you know, you're sitting in a good spot, okay? In your section, we have the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Wands reversed, and the Two of Wands reversed. The Eight of Wands reverse is feeling guilty, you know, feeling guilty. You, maybe you're feeling, maybe this person has made you feel guilty. That's part of their manipulation, okay? Somebody may, may be trying to make you feel guilty, make you feel guilty for leaving. They may be trying to stop you from leaving or stop you from falling in love or stop you from finding another option or taking another option. Um, I feel like you need to stop looking backwards. You need to focus on the future. Um, two of wands reversed. You're stuck. You're stuck. It's like it's time for you to focus on the future. You know, you need to stop looking back. Just step forward. Step forward. Don't go back. Don't go back. I just shuffled a little bit. Five of swords. This is, it's non-negotiable. Tell this person no. You got to tell somebody no. There is somebody here that you, I feel like you've been waiting. You've been waiting for somebody to change this person. Because the two of pentacles we had, which is change. This person isn't going to change. So I think that you need to focus on the future and you do have another option here. I also feel like you, for some of you, there is somebody that you have, um, I feel like you've been hoping and praying for this person to be careful what you wish for and be careful what you wish for. It's like you've been hoping and praying for this narcissist to choose you and this person may choose you. 
Maybe you have a lesson to learn. There is, there is a fucking narcissist here that is very unhealthy. I don't know if this person has been rejected and now they're coming in your direction for some sort of attention. Okay, they, maybe they need a place to live. Maybe they've gotten themselves out of a situation. Maybe they got rejected. Or they got themselves in trouble with the law. They got kicked out. Now they're coming towards you. Okay, I think that you really got... This is going to be a month of change. It's going to be, be a month of choices. You need, to, you need to examine things. You need to really examine things this month. Examine your contracts. Don't sign anything with anybody without examining. You're dealing with somebody that is... Uh, very controlling, very forceful, very, this person is probably uh, emotionally unavailable. They're looking for attention. They're a liar. Uh, there is somebody here that doesn't want to be alone. Um, they're looking for help. They're probably looking for, they don't care who they hurt. As long as they win, this person wants to win at all costs. Um, A hostile situation. Somebody is coming in your direction because they have been rejected or pushed away because of their behavior. You have an opportunity for wish fulfillment, but you need to stop going backwards. The past is dead. If it didn't work out then, it's not going to work out now. You have another opportunity for here. Let go of your fear. Let go of your fear. Whoever you are dealing, there's you have a couple people here, but there's somebody in particular that you're dealing with that is being rejected this person is being rejected and therefore they want you to take care of them good luck